Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I'm your GPR professor at LearnGPR.com, a division of Bigman Geophysical. And uh, I'm making a couple videos while I have some time. I'm at the New Orleans airport. And I did a post on LinkedIn recently asking you know, what people want to learn about and what videos I should do. I was making a couple of new videos, uh, I made a post about it, and we got you know, quite a number of responses, so I'll try to, to deal with those uh, today. And this one was from Faraz Masumi. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm destroying your name, uh, but basically what the question was is can GPR determine rebar diameter? And if no, is there another method that can be used? And so the answer is yes, GPR can estimate rebar diameter. I did a whole video on this uh, way back in the day. Uh, there's like four or five different methods for doing this. I think that two of the methods are by far the most accurate and compelling and have the most you know experimental time in. Um, however, it's a long, arduous process and it isn't always super accurate, although it can be pretty accurate. Uh, it'd be within a couple percentages you know, uh, of, of the actual size. Um, you do have to do quite a bit of math on it. So we don't tend to recommend that folks do rebar size estimates using GPR. There is another option, okay? Or, you know, you, you could potentially chip something out, see the size, go over it with the GPR, and make sure that the rest of those uh, responses off the uh, other rebar are the same hyperbola size. That's a possibility with GPR. So, but if you're not gonna use GPR, then here's another option. Um, eddy current systems. So eddy current systems also give an estimate, right? They're not perfect, um, but they also don't require destroying the, the concrete. So eddy current systems uh, use a different method for detecting rebar size, basically using the power of the you know, induced response. And, um, and so you can get within you know, millimeter or so of rebar size if it's within a few parameters, which is has to be uh, shallow enough, has to be separated from other rebar, you know, uh, uh, by a wide enough kind of margin. And if you have those things in place and you know its expected depth, you can get a very accurate estimate of rebar diameter. So uh, that's another one to check out. Okay, eddy current or, uh, or cover meters, you know, they're sometimes called. And some of the cover meters, not all cover meters, but some of the cover meters have uh, um, the option that you can give or get a rebar size estimate. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have not done so yet, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share this video with a friend or colleague or classmate, and um, you know, and reach out to us and let us know other videos that you want us to do. Make sure to go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in, and you'll get access to our free uh, introductory training webinars, our free videos, and we'll send you emails on upcoming uh, workshops. So thank you so much and good luck.